what's happening folks welcome back to the channel and to another video the comment of the day is popping up down below if you would like your comment featured on a future video make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and of course leave a comment down below in that comment section for your chance to be kfc's next comment of the day now in today's video folks i will be doing a grade reveal inside this box right here are those cards i'm going to show you and they're from a company that we have not introduced here on the channel before but i really want to discuss this is something a little I guess semi unconventional on the way I upload, but I want to discuss and talk to you guys about something that this company did that I really think is important to share with you all. Oh, and let me make this little disclaimer as well, guys. I'm not making this video to talk crap or throw shade at this company whatsoever. Um, I'm actually making this video and I feel like I should make this video because I really want to commend this company for something that they did. In my opinion, I think they are very professional and they went above and beyond with their customer service to make sure me as a customer would be happy and be pleased. And of course, to ensure that I would be a returning customer. So that's kind of what I want to talk about today. I'm going to share a little story with you about what they did. Now it's nothing crazy, but it just, it stood out to me a lot and, and that that spoke volume so that's what i'm going to share with you all today so before we carry on guys if you are new to the channel and you have not already make sure to subscribe for me down below with that notification bell turned on so you're notified when i upload any brand new videos if you guys been loving the content you enjoy videos like this help support me in the growth of my channel by dropping a like on this for me now if you guys are ready story time so who are they right the hybrid grading approach or hga they are a company out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and they kind of came onto the grading scene back in early 2021. Of course, this was starting the downfall of the pandemic. You had the big influx and boom of Pokemon. Everyone just kind of got into it. Hybrid grading approach kind of came on the scene then. Now, I don't know what they started out grading, but they are, um, if you follow them on Instagram or you look at some of their stuff, it seems like they're more big into like the sports but they also grade TCG cards like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, and I'm sure there's some more. But one of the really cool things I did read up while trying to research more about the company through the forums, the Reddits, all that stuff is HGA does use AI grading. So they don't have people actually looking at your card doing the grading themselves. They have the software that does the AI grading, kind of like it was an AGS that does robo grading. HGA actually does that as well. So you don't have to depend on, you know, worrying if, the person coming in looking at your car is having a good day or a bad day and giving you a dusty grade and you don't know why. Now, I didn't dive any deeper into my research with HGA. I'm sure there's more stuff out there you guys can find online. Do that on your own time. But I want to talk to you guys about something that they did where I believe they deserve a commendation. Okay, so I will try to make this uh, the, the TLDR version, right? The too long didn't read. Long story short, I'll, I'll try not to stretch it out, guys. I do want to be a little bit thorough about what happened, but... Um, I'll try to make it where it's just not the whole video. Now, about a couple weeks ago, one of my YouTube mods wanted to send me some Yu-Gi-Oh cards to send off to HGA for grading because HGA does something really cool where they offer like custom labels, okay? They have a plethora, a catalog of different labels you can choose from, colors, splash, um, earth elements. I mean, no matter what you can think of, HGA probably has it as a label to match and aesthetically be pleasing to the card that you send to them to get graded. So I received his cards and I decided I was going to add some cards in that same submission to get graded. Now for me, I'm only sending some, you know, mediocre cards off to uh, to them to do giveaways for my streams and do giveaways for my channel. So the cards you guys will see later in the grades, they're nothing crazy special. I promise you, they're nothing that you're gonna ooh ah over. Now his cards, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, um, those are pretty sick, but I decided to add this to the submission and in HGA's website, they have a submission form where of course you can add the card where it's like a pre-input um, like template for the cards they may already have in their database, right? When you go and put some of those cards in and type it in, it'll automatically generate or populate that card from that set or that exact card or whatever. Some of the stuff that I sent that our that I was sending off was not in there, but they had a similar uh, entry in there that I used that I would just kind of edit um, some of the information that popped up. For example, I sent off a Topps Charmeleon from the TV series one. Okay, when I typed it in their um, their submission form, it popped up as you know 1999 Topps Chrome Series One Charmeleon Spectrafoil. 
I didn't need, I don't have that. I didn't need to put that in, but I chose that because it had the year, had the series one in there. All they had to do was just delete tops chrome or just the chrome part and then delete the spectra hollow and fill everything else in. That was it. So it was kind of like, I just edited what was already in their database. About five cards uh, I had to do that with. Five cards that I submitted. So as you get to the end, right? As you cho choose your labels, as you um, get to where they're like, hey, are you sure everything is correct? Go back and double check it. Go back and look. You check the little box. Yes, I, I authorize that everything is correct and I'm going to continue and I'm going to have my payment. And yes, it's correct. You know, I checked all the boxes, double checked everything. It was still correct. When I hit uh, submit, I put my payment in, everything was good. Now it's time to print off the uh, packing slip. And this is where it got sort of sketchy for me. I, I saw what I saw and I was kind of like, I was stressing out, okay? So when the packing slip got printed and I was ready to start putting everything in the box and ship it off, I noticed that those five cards that I had to use some already um, entered stuff or edit some of the entered stuff already in the database, if you know what I mean. The packing slip reverted back to the original entries, so where it showed that it wasn't edited. So the Charmeleon that I sent off that I edited for saying, you know, 1999 Tops TV Series 1 Charmeleon, you know, and, and all this other stuff, it took that off and it reverted it back to... You know, 1999 Tops Chrome TV Series 1 Spectra Foil. Oh, I, I was losing my mind. It's like, oh my God, this, is, this, is, this isn't right. I've already paid. I can't go back and change it. Now, let me kind of paint a picture for you, right? So this is about 5 or 6 in the morning on a Friday, right? So I stay up all night, basically, because I work 6P to 6A. So I'm on my night schedule, and I'm getting ready to go to bed within the hour. Now... I would not be up in the day to be able to contact hybrid grading approach and let them know of the mistake. Now it's about to be the weekend, right? I'm not getting in touch with nobody until Monday. So your boy decided to get on his word document on his computer. And I typed up a little letter that I put in with the packing slip. Now the letter read like something along the lines of, Hey, I want to apologize for any inconvenience I'm causing. I double checked everything to make sure all the information that was input was correct. It was, and when I printed the packing slip out, all the um, all the stuff that I had to edit got reverted back to its original data or its original um, information. And these are not the right cards. So I what I did was I listed all five cards with their card ID numbers and put in there like, hey, this is like you know the year the the Pokemon, the set, the rarity, the special, whatever. I put all that in there and said, this is the information that I um, I need put in on the cards, the labels. And uh, I put it in the box and I, I sent it out on the way to, uh, on the way to work that day, I, I dropped it off and um, I didn't hear back from them. I was receiving emails within the week of, hey, <clears throat> we received your cards. Hey, we, uh, we graded your cards. Hey, uh, your labels are being printed, moving on to the next process. And I'm, I'm like freaking out because again, I didn't hear anything from HGA. They didn't email me. They didn't call me, stuff like that. Cause on the letter I put, you know, if you have any questions, concerns, whatever, contact me via email, via phone, whatever, <clears throat> nothing, nothing. I'm like, Oh my God. Like, I don't want to give these cards away in my streams with wrong information on it. I'm going to look stupid. So my plan, my intention was to just get them in crack them open and send them back and just take the L right chalk it up to the game pay the pay the fee because you know I was, I'm just gonna blame myself for this situation and you know that, that it was gonna be it but when I logged into my account with HGA I went in to just check I'm like they're already about to ship them I, I'm whatever and I went and looked at the information I HGA Thank you guys, man. If you're if you're watching this, I'll do whatever tags I got a tag to get this out to you guys. But I want to say thank you because I went and looked at those cards, the entries, all the information, the data, and stuff like that. And HGA Hybrid Grading Approach went in there and they changed them for me. They put the correct information of what it should have been. They did not have to do that at all, but they did. 
and I'm I got the cards here. I've I've I'm gonna be opening them and checking them out. But as far as what they've sent me, everything has been corrected. And uh, man, I you, you know that 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 type of customer service to me speaks volumes, right? It does a lot. Like that type of having that type of integrity, and to make sure that you're you're out there to please your customers speaks a lot so that's what i wanted to commend you guys on to commend this company on because they did something that they didn't have to do they could have just took my money sent them off to me and again i was willing and my intentions were to just crack them open and resend them so you guys um <laughs> it's 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 awesome i'm glad you guys did that i'll show you those cards again guys these cards are not um they're not like again some crazy i did send a base at zard and stuff like that so we're not going to be looking at some crazy cards but I just wanted to talk about that story. I know it may have been a little bit longer than normal, but it's something that I really wanted to share with my community about HGA because I know right now with all the negativity happening right now between these grading companies, right? You got PSA scraping the corners and the edges, you know, for their pop control. You got CGC who I, I'm always going to be a CGC supporter because they haven't really done anything to me personally that you know th that has affected me but we know the stuff that they're doing right it's it's i'm not oblivious to it but the stuff they're going through and of course beckett you know stealing cards and and swapping cards and stuff all that negativity that's happening in the grading world i want to share something positive that hga did for me that um i really i found i found awesome so again hga thank you now hopefully that story didn't bore you guys to death but what you're probably waiting for is to see the grades and to see the cards again these are nothing special you're not going to be like oh my god like it's nothing like that for my cards the Yu-Gi-Oh cards i think are pretty cool even though i don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh. but this will be the first time that my mod will actually see his cards so i told him i was going to do a video on it he's going to be seeing these for the first time uh, when this uploads but let's get into it all right guys here we go we have our stack of slabs here there's 17 cards i'm gonna probably run through them a little faster but i just want to showcase not the card but just like the label to kind of complement the card something that hga does which i find really cool so the first card is just a grimer right from ex dragon nothing special but you can see like they have the subgrades up here at the top on their label and then of course the label's got like grass like to complement the grass energy but uh there we go on that again it's not anything crazy these are for giveaways for my channel giveaways for my stream so if you guys want to get in on some of those make sure to follow and subscribe of course and be notified when i go live the next one is my boy scyther there we go from crown zenith but there we go another little grass energy label kind of cool but um yeah like i said nothing special this next one guys these are kind of trolls <laughs> we got the garbador right um i did this kind of as a joke but this he's look he's got the middle finger up man got the middle finger up I had to get it graded why not right but uh there we go so we got like the dark color energy that they offer for pokemon cards with i guess the dark energy so kind of matches not not too bad there's that and of course don't judge me <laughs> we got the we got the wiglet i had to do the wiglet we had to do the wiglet right then we got the little um we got the little water the water thing there as well so yeah again just bear with me right but here's where it kind of got uh those five the next cards here are gonna be the five cards that they fix so the um the charmeleon right here's a charmeleon and boom now to me this looks freaking awesome you got the fire um the element fire in the background of course with all the orange there for the charmeleon and of course tops pokemon series one and they have it there so they got fixed got a nine and a half that's not bad now the slabs themselves i didn't even really talk about the slabs they are probably as big as like uh like a beckett slab um so they're very bulky but they are clear which i like like how cgc is they are clear and of course the labels just make them very um easy on the eyes the the, the aesthetics of these slabs with the labels are are really cool so but there we go there's the charmeleon that uh got fixed not a bad slab pretty cool little giveaway the next one is going to be another tops ratata 
that got a 10. Now I got to choose the colors to that and I did the best I could to kind of match all that. So it really didn't turn out too bad. We got the Raticate with it as well. So we got the full evolution line. Got the Rattata in a 10, we got the Raticate nine and a half. But there we go, some more giveaways. Now these next two here were also something that I had to uh, change up. We got the um, Charizard from the Shiny Treasure EX. Now, this also came in Ruler of the Black Flame, so that's also what needed to be changed when I sent it off. But uh, we got it with the correct um, with the correct set in there from um, Shiny Treasure. But there we go. We got one in a ten, and we got the other at nine and a half. So there's those two right there. And then the last card, which was actually put in correct, is going to be the Wo Chain EX. So and then you got like. They had this, I think this was a Dragon Ball Z, like label, like a color for Dragon Ball Z, but it kind of matched that color there and it, it had some similar colors. So yeah, there you go. Now, moving on to the Yu-Gi-Oh cards for my mod. Again, this is gonna be the first time he sees these. So um, I know some of these cards are, are pretty good and pretty worth it. I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but here we go. He sent me some really cool stuff. First and foremost, we got the Dark Magician Girl. Now, they do have some Yu-Gi-Oh uh, labels on their website that I will sh will show you here in a minute, but I went and picked some custom labels out to kind of match the colors. So um, you got the blues and the pinks right there that she's wearing, so I chose a little bit of a blue and pink uh, label there for that. So there is the Dark Magician Girl. I think that came out really cool. So there's that, that came in a nine. <clears throat> Next up, is gonna be the Flamed Swordsman. I, I don't know if this is super good or not, but we chose the um, the purple clouds in the background to kind of match that card. So there is that, the Flamed Swordsman from 2002. But there you go, super nice. And this is kind of one of my favorites I like. This is the Salamandra. Um, it's a magic, I don't know how much about it. It's a magic card, but it's a fire monster. A fire monster equipped with this card increases its attack by 700 points. So that seems like it's super cool. Um, but it did get a 10 and we got the matching um, label with it with some of the orange and that teal. So that right there, to me, I thought that was super cool. And again, there they have a plethora of, of um, labels to choose from on their website. But there we go. There's that. Now, I know this card. Everybody knows this card. But here we go. He also sent me the blue eyes white dragon so i just chose just like a like a gold splash to kind of match that because i couldn't find anything that i thought would match too well with it but that actually came out pretty good it's got the little bit of a blue um, accent right there so yeah there we go the blue eyes white dragon from legend of is it legend of blue blue eyes right oh it's the starter deck uh kaiba so there we go super cool and then of course we got the blue eyes toon dragon now this label here is the Yu-Gi-Oh label that they offer is the only one that I saw. But um, yeah, there we go. That came in a nine, the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. So um, if I if I remember the show back in the day, wasn't it like was it Toon World they that he got sent to or something? I can't remember. You're gonna roast me in the comments. I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but there we go. So that came out pretty cool. And then we got the Buster Blader. Um, I don't know much about this though, but it came back in a 10. We used the same uh, Yu-Gi-Oh label that they offered on the website, but there we go. 2003 from the Duelist League Series 1. Super cool. So if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, um, there you go. And the last card, um, it did get an 8, a little bit of a lower grade, but it's the Judgment of Anubis. And we use the little pink clouds in the background to kind of match the card there. So those actually came out pretty good I, I like I like these I like those um, those uh, cards and everything and the label so there is HGA folks that is that is the cards those are the labels um, if you guys want to go check them out of course I think it's just hybridgrading.com I'm not I want to say this too they did not they're not plugging this um, video they're not they didn't tell me to do this this is just something i wanted to do on my own to um, give them some accommodation for what they did but also a showcase a little bit of the cards for you so you can see the labels that they make some of the custom stuff they do and just the aesthetic of the slab itself so if hga is someone you guys want to go with i i would recommend them i think if you are going to want to have a collection that you just want 
to you know almost some eye candy right it's aesthetically pleasing to anybody's eyes you walk in a room and you see these these slabs i think these are perfect for a good collection so yeah i i have no issue with them and i will be using them some more so yeah that's about it though guys i hope you all enjoyed it i hope this wasn't too long i hope you enjoyed the story again hga thank you for going above and beyond and doing that for me when you didn't have to guys um yeah that's about it i love you all you guys are the greatest subscribers here on youtube so until next time folks keep collecting and i will see you all on the next video see ya